With the eclipse just around the corner, it is a time of great change. People are wondering, what does my future hold? Author Michelle T joins us now, and she just wrote Modern Tarot. She is an author and tarot card reader. Thanks so much for joining Thank us. Thank you for having me. So for those of us who are unfamiliar with tarot cards, what exactly are they? Well, they are a collection of cards. Um, some of them resemble the traditional playing cards. There's, you know, ace through ten of hearts, spades, Etc. Um, they correspond here to like the Three of Cups um, or the Knight of Pentacles. So really they originated a long time ago um, in Italy and they were used for divination for kind of trying to get a glimpse of the future. They went underground due to kind of spiritual persecution and then we have playing cards are actually derived from tarot cards. Right. So don't be scared of tarot cards. You probably have them in your game room. Oh my goodness. Yeah. How? No, we probably don't even know you about don't even that. Know about what it. do you yeah. say to skeptics that think, hey, come on, this is baloney? Well, I mean, here's the thing. I have read cards for skeptics and unfortunately if you don't believe in the tarot it kind of doesn't work for you okay um, what I think that it is is an exchange of energy between two people who are curious who want to see what this whole thing is about who are open to it and when that happens what you get is akin to a really great talk with a good friend or a therapy session you get a lot of clarity you get a little bit of a deeper understanding about what's going on in your life and maybe what's coming down the pike a little bit. Can I find out something that's in my future? Kind of what's happening right now? Sure. Or maybe, a, I know you often do past, present, future, correct? Yeah, we can do that. Okay. Okay, what you'd have to do is hold the cards and shuffle them okay. and just sort of ask, what does it look like? What's okay. the sort of landscape, my energetic landscape right now? Hope it's really good stuff. So I'm <laughs> passing my energy to it, you might say? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Here Great. we go. Okay, so we'll do past first. King of Cups. What does this he's mean? He's a great guy. He's okay. A, he's a, an emotional champ. He's sort of like on top of it. He's um, very in control of his emotions. He enjoys his emotions. He's He has a very pleasant emotional landscape. It could be a person in your life. It could be a, like a masculine person that you feel really great around that's very caring. Or it could be you yourself. Oh, and I was you're in relationship ask. to your own emotions. Okay. The present. Oh the no, devil. I freak out, I see the devil, is that bad? <laughs> Here's what the devil is. The devil is something that we love and that's really fun and great and that maybe we've gotten a little out of control with. Oh geez. That's what the devil is. So <laughs> I don't know what it's this is It's probably those about. donuts it, earlier, it I don't know. Donuts. And um, what about the future? You know the future? You have the four of cups, and it's it's somebody who's kind of saying like goodbye to to something. Okay. So it's really interesting. It looks like this to me tells a story of. Um, let's just put these cards up. I know everyone's real scared of the devil. This is the card, one of the cards that gives tarot uh, a scary reputation. But I promise you. They're made in a game factory. <laughs> and you made a book and you created this book. Mm -hmm. And tonight at Powell's, correct? You're yeah. going to be signing and meeting people. Where yes. can we come and find you? Right there at, at Powell's. Right. Um, I'm going to be reading a bit from it, uh, letting people know about my history with tarot and doing little one card readings for folks in the environment. Oh, that yeah. is so nice. And yeah. let them know it's not scary. It's not scary. <laughs> it's, it's a good time. And Michelle, I want to ask you, uh -huh. um, where are you going to be for the eclipse? Someone, oh. uh, you know, I'm sure a lot of questions surrounding you about change and the world. Well, yeah, the eclipse is actually happening. It's a new moon. Moon, and so it's a really great, uh, powerful day for people to set intentions. If you want to start something new, start a new habit in your life, it's a very powerful day to do that. I'm going to be at an eclipse brunch, Fantastic. making sure my two-year-old doesn't look at the sun. Oh, great. We yeah. can give her these glasses. Yeah. Here you go. Thank you so much, Michelle <laughs> Key.